Good evening, everybody, and just when you thought it was safe to turn on your TV set, we're back on here. We've got another football game for you tonight coming to you from Alumni Field. It's the Rutland High Red Raiders and the Mounties from MSJ, and this time it's the senior girls out here to do battle on the gridiron from Alumni Field. This is the annual, uh, the what do they call this, the <laughs> annual senior girls game, and it's uh, it's been going on for quite a while. Uh, I know uh, Ernie, when I was, uh, this is Mark Carbonell to do the play-by-play, -play and Ernie Sewell on the camera, and uh, when my daughter was in, uh, when, when she was in school at uh, Rutland High, her senior year, she uh, she took part in this uh, annual ball game, and I remember in my days down at the academy, I know that this whole thing started with the uh, the cheerleaders from both schools going at it back in the uh, in the mid '60s and late '60s, and it just uh, carried over. And they've uh, they've got a combination of some cheerleaders out there, and then some uh, mostly uh, athletic uh, girls out there. They're uh, members of uh, various athletic teams at both schools, field hockey players and basketball players, and you name it. They're out here tonight to do battle. So it's the Raiders. And the Mounties, and it's uh, Senior Girl Night here on at Alumni on Channel 15, and uh, looking forward to a good ball game. And uh, we'll uh, we'll take a break, and we'll be back with the uh, opening introductions. Stars. Melissa Stars from Rutland. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the Okay. Okay, for the starting lineups first for the visitors from MSJ. Number four, Melissa Carpenter. Number three, Karen Manfredi. Number eight, Hillary Fox. Number 14, Stephanie Posebud. Number 15, Beth Slater. Number 5, Heidi Mulcahy. Number 13, Lindsay Smith. Number 11, Jillian Vigno. Kelly Holbritter. No number. <laughs> number seven, Jen Zido. Number two, Kelly Rag. Number six, Marissa Jacobs. Number nine, Katrina McDonough. Number ten, Aaron Farrell. Also, Sarah Godwin. And the coaches for the Mounties, Pete Tomasi, George Kokinas, and Mike Esposito. And now for the Rutland High Red Raiders. Cindy McFerrin. Nicole Rosulo. Number 38, Jen Hubbard. Number 8, Priscilla Borum. Jamie Mullen, Carrie Joseph, number 21, Allison Stein, number 30, Beth Stack, 
Number 34, Meg Tinker. Number 20, Nicole Semp. Number 32, Jill Sabaka. Number 15, Jamie Maynard. Number 10, Dana Nelson. Julie Curcell. Ariel Ryan, number 35, also having a birthday today. Tanya Shipman. Aaron Rice. Tony Casarino. Number 11, Aaron Kinsler, and number 11, Kara McCune, and also Erica Loris. Red Raiders are coached by Aaron Bailey, Mike Stempeck, and Dave Paller. Tonight's official, T.J. Sabaka. Back at Alumni Field here tonight for... Uh, Girls football, and it's uh, flag football. We might want to point that out. This is not tackle, so uh, if there's any mothers out there, grandmothers watching this ball game, they will be uh, at a later date, but uh, don't get too worried. It is uh, flag uh, football. They'll, I guess they're going to start right off the scratch, or right off the start here from uh, first down for the Raiders. They'll start at the 20. There is no kickoffs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are a little bit different rules here. So uh, we don't have the position as far as where they're playing, but we'll do the best we can with the numbers that we have. The Raiders will go on uh, offense and the handoff there. Look out, she's at the 25, 30, 35. Let's see where they got her flag down. Number 20 on the carry for the Raiders, and that was Nicole Semp. So we got a seven yard, uh, what we got? 10, number 10? That was uh, Deanna Nelson. Dina. Dina Nelson. Well, I had uh, Semp on the carry, but that's Nelson on the carry for the Raiders. And the Raiders started at their own 20. They bring it up to uh, the Mountie 28-yard line. So it'll be a, let's see. That was the first down, so it's a first stand. This is going to be tough. because <laughs> This will be tough. We have no yard markers here. The quarterback and a handoff to number three. And is that, uh, let's see. And <laughs> out of bounds at the 50 yard line. Boy, that was a nice run. Well, let's see who that was. Looked like number eight. Number three. Well, we don't have a number three on the, uh, on the roster. That's too bad. We got to find out who was running the ball for the uh, Raider girls. Well, the Raiders, it was Jen Hubbard. All right, we have it from a reliable source. It was Jen Hubbard on the carry. <laughs> Jen Hubbard on the carry for the Raiders. And uh, so it's 38. Well, she was turned around. I only caught one number. This is tough. <laughs> Brian May, who was standing next to me here, he came up to take in the festivities. And uh, it's cool out here tonight, folks. What's that? There is a three, yeah, but I'm not sure who, uh, we'll check that. That might be Jen Hubbard, number three, though. Well, we got a fumble in the backfield. The pitch is back to, let's see, is she down? Yeah, they got a loss on the play, number 10 for the Raiders, and that was uh, Dina Nelson. Well, I'm trying to see who made the play defensively for the Mounties there. Like number five was in there, Heidi Mulcahy for the Raider, for the uh, Mounties. So let's see, we got, uh, what do we got here? We got 50 yard line, but we don't have, <laughs> no downs. Well, when they kick the ball away, that'll be fourth down. And we're, uh, <laughs> they don't kick, so yeah. Well, this is gonna be interesting tonight. It's uh, senior girls football. The Raiders and the Mounties here from alumni. And it's frosty. We got a bunch over on the bleachers. That's a good crowd across the way for, uh, for a frosty night here at Alumni. Number three out there, there's a pass and it's complete. And they get the, to the Mountie 40 yard line, look like Jen Hubbard on the reception. She played field hockey this fall. She should have been playing football, I think, for the, <laughs> for the, uh, the Raider 11 out there. 
So Hubbard makes the reception. We've got to find out who the quarterback is for the Raiders here. All right, so uh, let's see. The quarterback for the Raiders, Jill Sabaka. So Sabaka to Hubbard for the uh, reception there. The pass was complete, and they got the ball at the uh, Mountie 41-yard line. So the Raiders in Mountie territory here, 41-yard line. Long play in the huddle, so it may be another pass play here for the Raider girls. Senior girls tonight, Raiders and the Mounties out here at Alumni. And Sabaka's going to take it herself right up the middle. Look, uh, she gets up to the 35, a fumble. But uh, let's see, that was after the play. She was... <laughs> Jill Sabaka for the Raiders, and she gets the ball, up in, let's see, inside the 35 to about the 33-yard line. So the Raiders moving the ball here against the Mounty girls. Well, I don't know, but I'll tell you, Sabaka took it off herself and uh, went uh, good yardage on the play, right up the gut there. It's like her older brother used to do, TJ, when he was at the, uh, the high school here, right out of the backfield. I believe we got some running time here. We got 21 minutes. There's a pass to Baca. And it's uh, number is that number 10? And let's see. They finally get her down. It's uh, Aaron Fair. Oh no. Let's see. Number 10 for the Raiders. That's Dina Nelson with the reception. Makes a nice catch. Well, I tell you, this is fun here. Uh, this is uh, this is a good time. Six yards on the play here. That was uh, number t uh, Nelson on the reception. Dina Nelson. For the Raiders. <laughs> so they pick up another first down. They keep the drive going here. The Raiders and the Mounties. And the Raider girls, on, uh, they're on the move here. They're at the uh, Mountie. We'll call it the 27-yard line of MSJ. Mark Carbonell along with Ernie Sewell. And a pass. Let's see, the snapback goes over uh, Sabaka's head. It's picked up by number 30 of the Raiders. She's got some room out there. And let's see, the flag finally goes down. He's got a few yards. See who picked up number 30 there for the Raiders was Beth Stack. So uh, the, uh, the snap went over uh, Sabaka's head and uh, Stack picked it up. Ball is still at the Mountie 33 yard line. So let's see what the Raiders got in store here now for MSJ. They've got a. Uh, Let's see, it must be a third down. Either, Yeah, it's got to be a third down, third and ten here. So Sabak at quarterback. Got a couple of setbacks. we got an end sweep coming around. There's the handoff. He's at the 35. Allison Stein, 30. And a nice defensive play there. Let's see it by number eight for the uh, Mounties. Hillary Fox coming up with the, uh, the snag of the flag there to stop... Uh, Stop uh, Stein on the carry. Snag of the flag. You like <laughs> this is different. We got to deal with flags here. The only flags we see all season is the the yellow kind. <laughs> well, those are yellow, but uh, yellow and red. I don't think we'll see too many penalties tonight. This will be a, this is a fun match out here. Fourth down here. You got some help from some of the Raider boys up here in the booth tonight, uh, running the clock and uh, doing the uh, public address announcing here. Oh, I know what. I'm going to be I'm going to be here Friday night doing the uh, Division One championship game, and uh, that'll be a treat for me. I, uh, you never get enough football, Ernie. Well, obviously not. We're doing this game tonight. <laughs> There's the pitch back. Sabaka hands it off. I'm not sure who that is running the ball for the Raiders. Cindy McFerrin on the carry. <coughs> uh, let's see. I don't know if she got enough for the first down or. No, they're going to give the ball over to the uh, Mounties, I believe. So Cindy McFerrin comes up short for the Raiders, and the Mounties will take over now. A pretty good drive by the Raiders. They started on their own 20. And they got the ball down to about the uh, Mountie. Looks like it's resting on the 22-yard line. So it'll be uh, Mountie's ball, first and 10 here. 
Man, let's see how uh, everybody anxious to get in there on the play. All right, so the Raider defense out there. This will be a little tricky. There's a couple of number 11s out there for the uh, the Raiders. What's that, Ernie? Okay. Well, the boys the boys will help us out here in the booth. They uh, they know the. No, but you know uh, number 11. Who's who's that number 11 for the Raiders? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, which one is the one on the near side here? Okay, so we got Kinsler out here on the defensive side, uh, number 11, and uh, the one, the other one, the hat. There's a pass, and it's complete. Oh, it's incomplete. You had it. And number two out there for the Mounties, let's see, that was Kelly Rag, and uh, just couldn't, couldn't quite uh, hang on to it. So it'll be a, a second down for MSJ. We're going to get... Uh, Got the number for the uh, Mountie quarterback, Ernie? Okay. Yeah, that was. <laughs> there you go. That qualified for the bomb. Well, let's see. Uh, we'll pick out. We'll get that uh, Mountie quarterback here. This is a fun match. They've been doing this for quite a while. Like I said, it started out with uh, the Mountie and Raider cheerleaders, and they just carried on from there. And. Uh, They've added a few players every year, and it's a fun game. Quarterback is number 13. There's a handoff, a lot of room out there. 25, 30, still on her feet, still going, 35, and finally, well, they finally take the flag off after she gets up to the 40-yard line. Let's see who that was for the, uh, all right, both 11s make the play defensively. Number five for the Mounties, Heidi Mulcahy. Nice play by uh, Mulcahy, and defensively for the Raiders was Aaron Kinsler and also uh, Karen, uh, Kara McEwen. we still got to get the number for that Mountie quarterback. I believe it's number 13. That's Lindsey Smith for the Mounties at quarterback. I'll tell you, there's a nice crowd on here. A lot of parents out here and uh, getting a lot of support from... Uh, from uh, both schools here, both sides of the field. That's good to see. This being the official last game of the season between these two schools here. This wraps it up for this year. All right, Smith now handoff. And let's see, that's number 14. Stephanie pose a butt, still going. Up to the 45-50, 45-40. And I'll tell you, the last Raider to catch her, was that uh, Aaron Kinsler again? Uh, Pose a butt on the carry for the uh, Mounties. <laughs> so Pose a butt runs it into Raider territory. Making the stop for the uh, Mounties was number 11 out there. And we'll give it to uh, Aaron Kinsler. Heck of a defensive ball player. Aaron plays uh, soccer for the uh, Raider uh, soccer team out here at the high school. And uh, word has it she likes to tackle in, in uh, soccer too, so she's quite the defensive player out there. Yes, yeah, she has. <laughs> she has. All right, so the Mounties go to work here, first and ten, and they got the ball uh, just about the Raider 40-yard line. Smith at quarterback. There's the handoff to pose the butt. She's inside the 40, 35, 30, still going, and finally tackled. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Let's see. Number 11, that time it was McCune on the tackle. So Kara McCune on the, uh, well, I was going to say she snagged the flag, but she uh, she took her to the turf there to begin with. So it's uh, Posebud on the uh, carry for the Mounties. Nice run, boy, I tell you. A power back position there by, uh, by Posebud for the Mounties. McEwen was uh, on the uh, defensive side. Now, uh, let's see. Kinsler will come out of the ball game. we got another Raider coming in. Not sure who that is. Who's the uh, Raider just came in for uh, Kinsler? Okay, she's on the uh, left side. Yeah, left side down here. Okay, Kerry Joseph into the ball game defensively for the Raiders in for Kinsler. There's the quarterback, uh, Smith. Now she takes it inside, still on her feet. She's got some running room down there. And the defensive play, Kinsler, making the stop for the Raiders. I'll tell you, Pozabut here is on a terror tonight. She gets inside the uh, Raider. 
10 yard line. Okay, that was the quarterback. That would have been Lindsey Smith. So Smith on the carry. Smith picks up the yardage for the Mounties, and now we're looking at a, uh, let's see, another first down. So it'll be a first, first and goal because it's inside the 10-yard uh, line. MSJ driving. The Raiders put on a good drive to start the game off. Drove to about the Mountie 25, and the, Raider, and the uh, Mounties have come back strong now. And a fumble. And Smith covers the ball for the Mountie. So Lindsey Smith on the, uh, okay, the girl without the hat. So that would have been Aaron Kinsler. So <laughs> Kinsler makes the stop. We've got uh, two uh, number 11s out there. So it's, uh, that makes things interesting. Of course, a lot of these girls here tonight will be uh, starting the hoop season here not too, uh, in the not too distant future. And uh, they'll go from one sport to another. Like I uh, mentioned before, there's a, a good mix out here. Got some field hockey players and some soccer players on both sides of the ball. And uh, the seasons continue here as we roll along into November. And all right, there's Smith now. And let's see. Mulcahy, touchdown, Mounties. MSJ's on the board. And Heidi Mulcahy puts the Mounties on top here, six to nothing. With 12.53 left here in the first half. I don't know if they're going to go for the uh, two points here. Let's see what the... Uh, of course, uh, one of the rules tonight, no kickoffs on uh, either side. They'll uh, just start from their own 20. Uh, differentiate a little bit, Ernie, on the uh, rules as far as that goes. So we got a timeout here. They're going to go for the uh, two points. I would, uh, I would gather here. Uh, long, uh, long huddle there. The uh, Raider, of course, the Mountie coaches, uh, Pete Tomasi, George Kokinas, and Mike uh, Esposito out there, and Aaron Bailey, Mike Stempek, and Dave Peller, the Raider coaches on the Raider sideline over there. The Mounties now going for the two-point conversion. Smith. Drops it back, looking, and she's going to be stopped right there. So 35 for the uh, Raiders coming up to make the stop. And that's going to be Ariel Ryan, one of the Raider cheerleaders this year in the uh, foot, football season. So both teams come up the field. It's the Mounties 6 and the Raiders nothing. Back at alumni here, it's 6 to nothing. The Mounties have struck uh, first here in this uh, senior girls football game tonight between the Raiders and the Mounties. And I'll tell you, Heidi Mulcahy, uh, Mulcahy going in from uh, about uh, 10 yards out to put the Mounties on top. But it's early yet. The Raider girls will uh, come back here to the test. They drove to the Mountie 25 on that first drive, came up short. 22-yard line. The spotter uh, corrected me on that. So uh, Mark Carbonell along with Ernie Sewell here in the booth and alumni tonight to do this uh, final game. The Raiders and... Let's see, we got a new quarterback in there. She's at the 25, 30, still going 35. Wow, she was popped out of bounds there by number nine of the Mounties. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Katrina McDonough coming up defensively. Who was the uh, Raider quarterback there? 34 for the uh, Raiders, and that was Meg Tinker on the carry. She uh, Tinker got the quarterback sneak, and she brought the ball up to, let's see, just about the Mounty or the Raider 36 uh, yard line. So Tinker replaces Sabaka at the uh, Raider quarterback position. 12.44 left first half. Now let's see, this is probably gonna be a passing play. The Raider coach is in there. Tonight's official TJ Sabaka. Tinker now. Steps it back, number 11. That's Kinsler around that left side. Still going. That's Kara McEwen. Okay, 50, 45, 40, 35. And let's see. Boy, she was close to the 30-yard line, but a heck of a run there by Kara McEwen. So McEwen takes it to the Mountie, 38. And it'll be another first down for the Raider girls here. The Mounties on top, six to nothing. Heidi Mulcahy punching it in from about 10 yards out to take the lead. 
And the Raider girls on the drive again. Not sure who made the stop defensively for the uh, Mounties there. Couldn't tell Ernie. Well, it was hard to <laughs> over on that far sideline there. All right, so the Raider girls now going first and ten. And let's see, Tinker gets the inside handoff. Who we got here? The uh, flag went up. Let's see if we got that Raider runner there. No number on her uh, jersey. Any idea who that Raider runner was, uh, guys? Jamie Mullen, okay. So Mullen on the carry, and she might have got a yard. Well, I'll tell you, these, uh, this is exciting. They got, the, they got the Raider girls and the Mountie girls out here, and it's frosty tonight here at Alumni. This would be the uh, official official season ending game between these two schools here. We've had the, the varsity matchup of course and then we did the uh, the JV game, the freshman game and this tops it off here. Alright, this, this is Kinsler and no, oh, this is uh, uh, Stein, Allison Stein still going. Number 20. No, that's Nicole, well they got Nicole Sip here. We're going to, uh, <laughs> okay, it's Sydney McFerrin, no number and she's all right, Cindy McFerrin on the carry for the Raiders. I, th <laughs> I think they're changing uh, jerseys when they get over there, the other sideline there. All right, McFerrin on the carry for the Raiders. And the ball now inside the Mountie 20-yard line. We'll call it the 18. Second, or first, uh, first and 10 for the Raiders. 11.40 left here, first half. Yeah, this is basically a uh, running clock, right? First half. Was it 20 or 15? I thought I get, must have been must have been 20. Okay, 20 minute half. 25. 25? Okay. 11:40 left here first half of play. It's the Raiders and the Mounties. Senior girl night here. Let's see the Ryan drops it back. Got a man. Uh, let's see. Got a receiver down there and it's broken up defensively by the Mounties. It was intended for, is that intended for Kinsler down there, or McEwen? 15 for the uh, Mounties came over to make the defensive play. And that was Beth Slater on the uh, defensive slate. <laughs> They're looking up here, I don't know if we got the right person or not. <laughs> 15's on the sideline. So it might have been Hillary Fox. I'm not sure. Is she down there? <laughs> All right. At any rate, it's a second down and 10 for the Raiders here. Nice play defensively anyways for the uh, Mounties. Uh, Ryan hands it off. Number three out there. Look out. And touchdown, Raiders. Number three. That's got to be Jen Hubbard, isn't it? That'll be Jen Hubbard and the touchdown run. Nifty run by Hubbard, and it puts the Raiders on top, or on the board here anyways. Six to six now. So Jen Hubbard and took off on the left-hand side. Scampers into the end zone. So the scat back from Rutland there, Hubbard. And uh, Jen, also a member of the state championship uh, field hockey squad here at Rutland High. Now let's see now, the Raiders going for the two-point conversion. 11.27 left first half, we're all tied up here, 6-6. Six to six. This is going to be a whale of a ball game tonight. It's going to be a burn burner, folks. All right, we've got to keep the clock running, boys. Right? Does that keep moving or does it? Yeah. All right, here we go. We got a uh, two-point conversion coming up for the Raiders now. They just tied it on Hubbard's run, and this is Ryan. No, that's ta uh, Meg Taker. Look out! She's, whoa! Boy, she was horse collared over on that left-hand side there. I think she got in, though. Did she? Number 11 came up to make the stop for the Mounties. Uh, let's see, that would have been Jillian Vigno. But the two-point conversion is good, so Tinker... 
with the carry. Meg Tinker, another member of that uh, field hockey squad for Rutland this year. So she takes it in for the two-point conversion. Both teams come up the field. The Raiders, eight, and the Mounties, six. Alumni, it's the Rutland High Red Raider girls, eight, and the Mounty girls, six. Senior girl football here tonight from Alumni. 9.50 left here, first half action. And so far, I'll tell you, it's, it's been a seat squirmer here thus far in the first half. Now let's see the Mountie girls go on here first and ten. Let's see they got a quarterback here. Let's see if the same, uh, that's Smith at quarterback. Drops it back, lets it fly. And it's complete to number 14 out there. Stephanie Posebud. So Posebud makes the reception for the Mounties. And I, that was a pretty good pass there by, uh, let's see, that was Lindsey Smith, the quarterback for the Mounties. So Smith to pose about for the uh, reception. And the Mounties will go with the first and ten. And the ball resting at about the uh, MSJ 36-yard line. Yeah, they're switching. Uh, <laughs> we got a little switcheroo on the sidelines here. Boy, they really want to goof us up here. All right, here we go. First and ten Mounties. And this is Smith dropping back, being rushed, drops it back, fires a nice spiral, and this one's picked off. Is that Jen Hubbard? I'll tell you, Hubbard's all over the field down here. So, so Hubbard makes the interception, and the Raider girls will take over. And let's see, they'll have the ball at the Mounty 47-yard line. Mounties and the Raiders, first half action. The Raiders are up 8-6 to six here. Mulcahy with the touchdown run to put the Mounties on the board. And then, uh, let's see, was it Hubbard that got the touchdown? Yeah, it was Jen Hubbard that got the touchdown run for the Raiders. And then, uh, let's see who got the two-point conversion there. Was Meg Tinker with the uh, two-point conversion for the Raiders. So that's how it stands. The Raiders 8 and the Mounties 6. And we're down to 740 here, left in the first half of play. The Raiders are going to go to work now on the offensive side of things. A little discussion out there. All right. <laughs> no, no, there's no play cl clock. Okay, Tinker's at the quarterback position. She's got a couple of run backs, uh, running backs out there. Tinker wants to throw, and she's getting a hard rush. Finally, takes it herself. Still on her feet, 25. And they pulled the flag off her just, uh, no, it was a 35. So just inside the 35-yard line. So Meg Tinker coming out of that uh, Raider backfield there at the quarterback position. Looking downfield, looking downfield there for receiver. Couldn't find anybody that was open, so she decided to take her out on her own and uh, picked up some good yardage. So Tinker on the keeper. And we get up to 6.50 here left in the first half from Alumni. So the Raiders and the Mountie girls here tonight. Last uh, game of the season here for both squads. This will official, uh, officially end it between uh, both schools for as far as the football season is concerned. And uh, All right, Tinker drops it back. And a little uh, <laughs> lateral behind there. And let's see, coming up, still going here. Wow. 30, uh, let's see, 30-yard line. Okay, Erica Loris. That little uh, garbage pass out of the backfield there. A little dump pass. So uh, Loris with the reception. Got a five-yard uh, gain on the play. Brings the ball up just inside the Mounty 30-yard line. Raiders are driving here. The Raiders on top, 8-6. to 5.50 left in the first half of action here from Alumni. <laughs> and let's see now. The Raider coach is out there. Dave uh, Paller or uh, Mike uh, Stempeck out there. And let's see. There's the snap fumble. And let's see who's going to pick it up here. Well, let's see, coming in there big time, number 10 for the uh, Mo or the Mounties, that's Aaron Farrell. So Farrell makes the stop for uh, the Mounties. 
And the Raiders looking at a third down and five now. Definitely a passing uh, down here for the uh, Raiders. Third down and five now for the uh, Raiders. All right, let's see. The ball just inside the Mountie 35 yard line. We'll call it the 33 here. There's the snap back inside the handoff number 11. And let's see, is that McEwen? Still going. She's in there. Touchdown, Raiders. Who was that, McEwen? Or? Well, Kara McEwen on the touchdown run for the Raiders. We couldn't tell whether it was Kinsler or McEwen. So Kara, what's that? The one without the hat, right. Kara McEwen on the run, a nifty run on that left side down the sidelines for the Raiders, and they go up 14 to 6 now. And they'll go for the two point conversion here with 4.05 left in the first half of play. Let's see, I was going to say they could use one of the soccer players to uh, try the extra point, but. <laughs> All right, so they're going for the two-point conversion here. Kara, or us. And let's see, still going in, still in there, and got the two points. It's good. Number 20 for the Raiders. That's, uh, I know, let's see. <laughs> Sydney McFerrin. And McFerrin gets the two-point conversion, and it's now the Raiders 16 and the Mounties 6. Field. Mark Carbon along with Ernie Sewell tonight, and it's a Raider, the Raiders and the Mounties here, senior girl football night. This is a classic. Two minutes left in the first half. The uh, Mounties now, well, Cahey's at quarterback, looking, tosses it out there, and, oh, well, I'll tell you, <laughs> unbelievable. They look like the Raiders were going for the interception that uh, bounced off of her hands, and it almost came into the hands of a Mountie receiver. Quarterback for the Raider or the Mounties is uh, Heidi Mulcahy. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that was a. <laughs> now they're switching jerseys here. I'll tell you, we got two girls that are using number uh, number fifteen. So uh, Slater is number fifteen, and uh, Beth Slater for the uh, for the Mounties. I think could be her going out now. We don't know who the other uh, Mountie girl was that came in. She came in, took the 15 off, and gave it to the other girl. So we'll call this, yeah, this looks like Beth Slater out there now, number 15 for the Mounties. Clock is uh, stopped, 152 here. The Raiders on top, six. Got to get that clock going, boys. <laughs> 16 to 6. The Raiders on top of the Mounties here. Senior girl football. And Red Alumni Field, I'll tell you, it's been a good game so far. It's been very uh, entertaining, to say the least, Ernie. All right, this is uh, number 14 now, and nice defensive play by the Raiders coming up to you. Let's see. Who we got there on the stop? Kara McEwen? Okay, Kara McEwen coming up on the stop defensively. Number 14 on the carry, that was Stephanie Posebud for the Mounties. And 126, clock is running here, 16 to 6. The Raiders on top of the Mounties in this one. Let's see, this is the final. Uh, well, actually, we've got one more game here at Alumni. It'll be the uh, state championship game coming up Friday night. That should be a doozy, Ernie, between uh, Hartford and uh, Middlebury. And. Uh, uh, we'll be taking that one in to close out the football season here in the state of Vermont this year. Time to get those round balls out now. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> it's a round ball. <laughs> All right, there's a little flip pass. This is uh, Mulcahy, 25-30. And finally coming over to make the stop there. Let's see who's that for the Raiders, number 20. That's got to be, uh, yeah, what? 
Cindy McFerrin on the stop, right, defensively. Okay, McFerrin on the stop. 23 seconds left. 20 seconds left in the first half. All right, this will be the final play for the Mounties in the first half. Number 14, that's Stephanie Posebod, still going. And finally coming up there, the, that's the end of the first half. It's the Raider girls 16 and the Mountie girls 6 at the end of the first half. All right, we're back in alumni here at the start of the second half. It's the Raiders 16 and the Mountie 6 senior girls football tonight. There's the handoff, number 13. Nice running. And, oh, I'll tell you. Who got the defensive play here for the Raiders? We got the white shirt for the Raiders. Who was that, fellas? Uh, no, white shirt. That looks like uh, White shirt with the red. Aaron Rice. Aaron Rice. Well, we'll give it to Aaron Rice, uh, making the stop defensively there for the um, Raiders. And let's see for the Mounties there. Looked like number 13, was it? Number 13, Lindsey Smith taking the uh, snap for the Mounties. So we got 24 minutes left in the ball game. It's been a good one here, 16 to six. The Red Raider girls on top, and this is the annual clash between the, uh, the Raiders and the Mounties uh, senior girls here. This one coming to you from Alumni Field tonight. A little mix up in the backfield there, uh, the Mounty quarterback, that's uh, Mulcahy. Look out, she's got the 30, she's at the, or th 20 actually, 21 yard line. Coming up to make the stop, Jen Hubbard, was it Jen Hubbard? She lost her hat, she's got, well there you go, she's got the helmet back on. Jen Hubbard defensively. Nice stop there for the uh, Raiders, Jen Hubbard on the uh, play defensively. So what do we got for a down here? Looks like a third down and nine for the Mounties. Want to take this opportunity to, uh, opportunity to thank uh, the Recreation Department here in Rutland the, uh, for the use of the uh, shirts and the uh, flags out there by uh, both teams tonight. Special thanks to Leif Dolan and uh, Betty Mumford at the Recreation Department. Thanks again for the uh, use of the shirts and the uh, flags uh, from both schools tonight. And I'm sure they appreciate it. All right, the Mounties now. And the handoff to number eight, Hillary Fox. And looks like she got caught in that Mountie backfield. Let's see who got to play defense. Now let's see, who made the stop for the Raiders? It looked like, uh, all right, well, we couldn't uh, quite get the number. It might have been number 15. 16 for the Raiders? Ball on the 16, okay. <laughs> the clock man here. All right, so we got a fourth down for the Mounties. Fourth and eight, ball at the 16 yard line. The Raiders on top, 16 to six. 22 minutes left in the ball game here on a frosty night at Alumni. The final game between these two schools this year in, uh, in football. I'll tell you, it's cold enough to snow. Ski season will be starting pretty soon. And we got the basketballs going before too long. And uh, hockey season, the hockey pucks will be flying. It was, Ernie? Well, I'll tell you, I don't <laughs> We don't want any snow for a little while. All right, there's, what do we got here? What's going on? Okay, free kick, that's what it is. Nice kick there by Mulcahy, taken. And she's at the 30, 25. We don't have a Raider, uh, we don't have the number. All right, Nicole, uh, Nicole Sepp on the return for the Raiders. All right, Kira. <laughs> Kerry Joseph on the return for the Raiders down there. No number on the uh, on the jersey, so uh, Joseph on the return. 
So the Raiders are going to work now. First and ten. And one of the, uh, let's see, the Raider coaches out there. Let's see, that's uh, that Aaron Bailey or Mike Stempeck and uh, Aaron Bailey out there. A couple of the Raider coaches along with Dave Paller tonight on the sidelines. There's the snap back and it goes inside. Meg Tinker. No, oh, was it Tinker on the carrier? Yeah, we'll call it Tinker on the carry, and the ball gets up, uh, let's see, inside the Mountie 25 to about the 23-yard line. So the Raiders now going with a, let's see, that'll bring up a what, second down and uh, 10? Yeah, they gained him about a couple, didn't they? Second down and seven now. Second and seven for the Raiders. 19 seconds, or yeah, 19 and 19 minutes, 46 seconds left here in the contest from alumni. Let me take another sip of coffee, Ernie. Well, I tell you, that comes in handy, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you talking about? I made the coffee. All we need now is a sub from Pasquale's. We'll be all set. All right, there's a handoff to reverse, and coming up big time there defensively for the Mounties, number 11. And that's going to be Jillian Vigno. Jillian Vigno on the uh, defensive play. Not sure who, who that uh, Raider runner was out of the backfield there on that sweep. So the Raiders looking at a third down now. Yeah, they lost. Uh, they lost a couple on that play. Actually, they lost uh, eight. That's more <laughs> third and fifteen now. Yeah, they had the ball originally at the twenty-five, I believe it was. All right, here we go. The Raiders with eighteen thirty-six left in the contest, and number eleven. And did they get her flag. They got it. Boy, they're coming up big. Was that McEwen? Kara McEwen on the carry. Number eight was uh, Hillary Fox again. So Fox on the defensive stop for the Mounties. And the Raiders here stifled in this drive so far. The Raiders on top, 16-6, to 18 minutes left in the ballgame. Coaches out there for the Raiders uh, going over things with the, uh, with the team. And, This being the last game, Ernie, I want to take this opportunity to uh, send my condolences. No, no, I want to thank you for uh, working again uh, this year on the uh, on the camera side of things, and uh, I've enjoyed it. All right, the uh, Raiders now dropping back to pass, looking downfield. That's Tinker still looking, plenty of time, and still going. Now they finally pull the flag on her. Boy, she couldn't find anybody down there. Everybody was covered. And the Raiders will have to give it up here with a... Uh, boy, it's a fourth down and... Fourth and what, 23? Okay, that was the fourth down. So the Mounties going with the first and 10. And they're down by 10. Get some points on the board here. They need to put some up... Uh, before too long because we got 16.55 left in the contest. There will be no sudden death. The cameraman has already assured me of that. So uh, if anybody was wondering. <laughs> so there you have it, folks. The official word. No sudden death tonight. What's that, Ernie? <laughs> yeah, th you know, yeah, we really should have a mic on you because... Uh, I feel kind of stupid here. It's like I'm not talking. There is another. No, I. Oh, well, that's true. But there is a cameraman here. A lot of people. <laughs> I just want to make people aware of that. There is, you know. That's right. <laughs> Nobody else will. Looking forward to next year. I need to do some of those uh, JV games and some freshman games also. So I'll be around. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. They'll, they'll be looking forward to it next year. I'll be. Counting the days. All right, here we go. We got a first and ten for the Mounties. 
And the handoff to Mulcahy. She throws the option pass here. And let's see. I think it was attempted for uh, Slater down there. Was it Slater? It looked like Slater, number 15. All right, we'll give it to Slater. The option pass, it didn't work. It fell a little short. 15-30 left in the ball game here from alumni. It's a frosty alumni field. I'll tell you, I hope it isn't this cold. Uh, we're nice and warm. We got plenty of coffee, Ernie. But uh, I hope it isn't this cold Friday night. Got to be up here to do that uh, Division One game. Bring it along. <laughs> All right, there's the handoff coming around this side here. And did they get it? They finally got the flag there on the carry for the Mounties was number 14, Stephanie uh, Posebud. Is that uh, McEwen on the stop? 11 with the hat. Kara McEwen on the stop for the uh, Raiders. So the Mounties looking at a third down and 10 now with 14.42 left. Senior girls football tonight here from Alumni. Next year they'll have that uh, facility over there will be finished, Ernie. They'll have that nice uh, concession stand all done, and we'll, <laughs> we'll still be here. That's right. Could use a new booth over here. That'd be kind of nice. What's that? Oh, yeah, we definitely need some more room. Well, <laughs> it'd be nice to enclose it, wouldn't it? All right, so the Mounties now. The Mounty girls going to work here. They got a third down at 10. 14 minutes left here in the ball game. And we almost had an offsides. Nothing called there by the official. And now they got a spike there by the Mounty quarterback, number 13. <laughs> Lindsey Smith there. And uh, let's see. Looks like a busted play for the Mounties. That was a busted play, wasn't it? So it's a fourth down now. 35, so the Mounties will have the ball. Yeah, so they have a fourth down and 13 now for MSJ. All right, so. Uh, all right, coming in the, uh, okay, in the middle for the Raiders is Nicole Semp now. She's in the ball game. And a snap back. Mulcahy now. She's got some room. Still going. And they finally stopped her inside the 40. But Heidi Mulcahy, number five, Heidi Mulcahy for the Mounties. I'm not sure if it was enough for a first down, though, because they had the ball inside the Mountie uh, 35. They had a fourth and third. All right, so the Raiders will take over, first and ten. It is more than ten? Okay. I, I'm not really that familiar with flag football. Uh, I did play it as a child in uh, my seventh and eighth grade years, but uh, I blocked an extra point one night, too, by God. And my... What's that? <laughs> oh, no. My hand was sore for three weeks, so I know... <laughs> But I was a hero. That was a tight ball game. Well, that was the extent of my uh, flag football playing days. Well, that was uh, the recreation department put it on back then. It was uh, for 7th and 8th graders. It was back in the, uh, well, I won't tell you how far back. But, well, what the heck. Back in the 60s, and uh, I enjoyed it immensely. But <laughs> Okay. That's right. You are a little older than I am. That's right, too. <laughs> All right, the Raiders now with the football. And a little pass there. Still going. Still on her feet here, and they finally pull the flag off. Number 10 for the Raiders. Let's see. That's got to be Deanna, uh, Dina Nelson. Dina Nelson, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling down there. So uh, Nelson... With the carry, let's see who got the, uh, I believe it was number three that finally pulled the flag on her. Karen Manfredi finally making the stop for the Mountie Girls down there, number three. So we got 11 minutes left here in the ball game. And it's the Raiders and the Mounties here going at it tonight from Alumni. 16-6, to six, the Raiders on top. 
All right, back to the action here now. First and ten here for the uh, Mount uh, Raiders. And I'll tell you, let's see, on the sack, Fox, Hillary Fox coming in to uh, put the clamps right on number 11 there. That was, uh, is that McEwen? No, that's, uh, that's the, <laughs> Aaron Kinsler was sacked by Hillary Fox. Kinsler goes out now along with uh, Ariel Ryan, number 35. A couple of other Mount, uh, Raider uh, girls running off there. I'm not sure what they're, couldn't quite catch the numbers here. At any rate, it'll bring up a second down and 15. Ten minutes left in the contest here from alumni. It's uh, the Raiders 16 and the Mountie 6. It's senior girls football night here. And it's been a classic. <laughs> it's, I see you're agreeing with me on that. <laughs> I see you nodding your head there. All right, this is Tinker. And she's running around. Oh, nice block there on Fox. Beautiful block by number, uh, but that was Jen Hubbard to put a block on Hillary Fox and sprung uh, Tinker around that right uh, sideline. Hubbard coming, coming up with the block and uh, springing Tinker out there. But let's see, uh, Tinker will go off now. And a second down, and what do we got there, Ryan? Second and second down, thirteen. We got nine minutes. Ball resting at about the thirty. Uh, well, actually, be the twenty twenty-eight yard line. Yeah, the Mountie twenty-eight yard line. It's a second down, thirteen now for the uh, Raiders. All right, here we go. Tinker, the quarterback, got a couple of setbacks and a handoff. This is uh, Sydney McFerrin, still going, still on her feet. 15, 10, 5, and touchdown Raiders. Yeah! McFerrin on the touchdown scamper, and it makes the score, let's see, 22, 22 to 6 now. The Raiders on top of the Mounties. And the Raider girls now looking for that sweep here. Cindy McFerrin on a nice run. And I'll tell you, that play started from about the Mountie 28 yard line. She zigzagged her way down the field into the end zone. And we got a 22 to 6 ball game now. That was a nifty run, Ernie. Reminds me of my younger days. <laughs> when they were calling me home for supper, right? Oh yeah, yeah all, the, yeah, all the girls ran away, okay. <laughs> hey, if I wanted a stand-up comic, I could watch VH1, all right? <laughs> all right, so we got a uh, two-point conversion attempt coming up for the Raider girls. And let's see, the Raiders on top, 22 to 6 here. 7.26 left in the contest. Still a pretty good crowd on hand. And they... The Mounties snuffed that one out. So they didn't convert the uh, the two points. Let's see what we got here, though. The official. Okay, the two points was no good. So both teams will, uh, the Mounties will take over. It's 22 to 6. The Raiders on top. We're going to leave it right here. Or, uh... All right. Check out the crowd as we, uh, Ernie is going to pan around here. Pretty good crowd on hand. When I came in early, about uh, 20 or 7, and uh, I didn't mean to make you nervous. I was going to get here in plenty of time. <laughs> but uh, I came in around 20 of, and there was three people in the bleachers, and uh, it filled in nicely here. With about uh, 6.30 left now in the contest, the Raiders 22 and the Mounties 6. All right, the, uh, a lot of discussion going on in that Mounty, uh Huddle, and they got a lot of work to do here, but uh, not much time to do it in. 6-14, it's been an uh, entertaining ball game, to say the least. Now, they've enjoyed uh, doing it here. Not as cold as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the uh, Mounties are going to work. 
They have a 550 left on the clock now, 22 to 6. All right, this is Hillary Fox going around that left sideline, still going, finally pushed out of bounds. Well, I guess they pulled their flag now. They did get the flag. All right, uh, Allison Stein on the stop for the Raiders out there. Fox on the carry for the Mounties. So it'll be a, uh, she got enough for the first down. They started at what, the uh, Raider, t or the Mounties 20. Keeps the drive going for the Mounties. 5-11, and there's a running clock here tonight for this ball game. So 5-11, the clock running now. What's that, Ernie? <laughs> Walking clock, yeah. <laughs> it's been a good evening, though. There's a good crowd on hand to take this one in here. Again, our, uh, all right, here we go. The Mounties now with a second down. And Heidi Mulcahy back at the quarterback position. Fires a nice pass. Fox is wide open, and oh! Oh, I'll tell you, Mulcahy threw a spiral. That was a bullet by Mulcahy, and Fox couldn't quite find the handle on that one. So the Mounties now, 22-6, the Raiders on top with 4.20 left in the contest. Well, let's see now. Timeout. Okay, we got a timeout here. And with 4.08 left in the contest. All right. We're, we're going to keep it here? Yeah, we'll keep going. All right, we're going to, uh, we're going to leave it right here. Ernie, I wanted to get in another uh, mention of this in case uh, they missed it, though. I want to thank the uh, Recreation Department here in the city, Leif Dolan and also uh, Betty Mumford at the Rec Department for uh, loaning the, uh, the jerseys and the, uh, the flags out there for tonight's ball game. And uh, it was appreciated very much. And I know the uh, participants in tonight's ball game uh, appreciative of the uh, the fan support out here and uh, everyone's uh, help tonight here at uh, to make this thing possible. And let's face it, this thing it's it's for the kids, and they they've enjoyed it. All right, Mulcahy's pass and Fox, the intended receiver out here, and couldn't quite catch up to it there. Who is that to? That was to uh, Hillary Fox. And uh, came up short. So this will bring up a, uh, I believe it's a fourth down. Fourth down and seven now for the Mounties. 4.05 left. Okay, they got to put some more time or they'll let it go on the clock. All right. The boys are a little slow tonight on the clock, but that's all right. All right, the Mounties now. 22-6, the Raiders on top. Mulcahy at the quarterback spot here. And drops it back. Getting a hard rush from the Raiders. And let's see. Hubbard finally pulls the flag off. So Jen Hubbard making the stellar defensive play for the Raiders. Mulcahy trying to get outside there. Couldn't quite do it. So uh, the Raiders will take over here. And we're down to 338 left in the contest. All right, we're at alumni. Had a little break there, and he had to catch a uh, sip of coffee. <laughs> Was it really? Okay, good. Good to the last drop, I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, it's the Mounties and the Raiders, 22 to 6. The Raider girls on top here at Alumni Field tonight. All right, we're uh, three minutes now, three minutes on the clock in the uh, in the ball game, and the Raiders are going to work here. Meg Tinker at the quarterback position. Tinker drops it back. Now she wants to float it out there, and it's uh, intercepted by the Mounties. Looks like Katrina McDonough, but I'm not sure from across the way here. They're not sure who got it. Looks like Katrina. Well, no. Was it Fox? It was Hillary Fox on the... No, it wasn't. It was Katrina McDonough, I believe. So McDonough with the interception. 
And the Mounties will get another shot here with 242 left. What's that, Ernie? Oh, he's got a penalty. There's a penalty. All right, we got a. Uh... Wow. <laughs> it was a face mask. I don't know where they got that from. <laughs> hey, what was a penalty? <laughs> It was a holding. <laughs> I think that's all you could call is holding. That's about. That would be about it. All right, the Mounties. I thought the Raiders were going to get the ball. They, uh, they. All right, there's a pass almost intercepted there by Sabaka. Now roving back spot there by Sabaka. Coming out of that rover back position and uh, making a nice play defensively. All right, so we got a second down and 10 now. 2.38 left in the ball game here at Alumni. McDonough coming up with the interception for the Mounties. Give the Mounties another shot at it here in the final minutes of the ball game. There's a pass and Fox. Let's just come up with it. Slater made a diving, gra uh, diving attempt there. Looked like Slater. No, that's going to... Number 13. Oh, that was uh, Lindsey Smith on the... Uh, it's Lindsey Smith, the intended receiver out there. And she couldn't quite come up with the uh, catch. So with 2.28 left now, the Mounties here. Faced, a, faced with a third and 10 now. Third and 10 for MSJ. Ball at the... <laughs> Who stopped the clock? <laughs> hey, it's, uh, incomplete, pass. incomplete pass. That'll stop it. Okay. Two twenty-eight left. The Mounties now, and we got a new quarterback now. And there's Mulcahy. She's got some running room. 45, 50, 45. And they finally pulled, finally pulled the flag off. Let's see who. Go yeah, Mulcahy on the carry. Let's see who got the uh, pick. Is that number 11? That's got to be... Uh, is that McEwen that got the uh, flag? Kara, Mc Kara McEwen on the defensive play. Well, it, yeah, it was McEwen. Nice play, though. Mulcahy with the uh, with the carry, so now it'll be uh, two minutes left in the ball game here. Twenty-two to six from Alumni, the Raiders on top of the Mounties. Senior girls uh, night here. All right, coming around the end and still going. And Hubbard comes up again defensively. I'll tell you, sign her up, the Patriots, because you need some help this year. So Hubbard coming up with the big play defensively to, uh, let's see, what was the number already on that 13 for the uh, Mounties? And that was Lindsey Smith again on the uh, carry. 14. <laughs> well, 14, that was Stephanie Poza by then. All right. Smith is at the quarterback position. Drops it back, fires a nice spiral down there, and it's almost... Number 14 down there. There's Posebud. Stephanie, Stephanie Posebud, the intended receiver. Well, that one goes for not. 118 left in the ball game. Let's see, was that a third down or was. Well, let's see. They're showing. Uh... <laughs> well, it's showing third and 16 here. All right. There's Mulcahy. She's been dangerous tonight going around the sweep. Still going. 35. And it's finally... Oh, she kept going. She got inside the 25. And now the flags fly. Got to stop the clock there. 109 left. Uh, let's see. Mulcahy on the carry. Yep. So Heidi Mulcahy, the... Uh, Boy, I tell you, she's been the uh, she's been the back, the, the go-to back tonight here for the uh, Mountie girls. 
They got a penalty against the Raider girl, so that's the second penalty against the Raiders. 109 left in the contest, and the Mounties will have it now. And the ball will be inside the 10 yard line, so it's first and goal. MSJ. Still on her feet, still going, and let's see, she get in, touchdown! Touchdown, Mounties. I'm not sure who that was, though. Looked like uh, number 13. Lindsey Smith, wasn't it? Yes, yep. Lindsey Smith on the quarterback keeper. So Smith gets it in the end zone for the Mounties, and it's 22 to 12 now. That's better. <laughs> definitely, definitely, yep. All right, the Mounties going for the two-point conversion here. 22 to 12, a minute left in the ball game. And let's see, this is Smith. Going to try to get it in there for two, and she makes it in. Two-point conversion is good by Smith. And <laughs> some words down there after that one, but uh, no harm, no fall. 22-14, both teams come up the field. The Raiders on top of the Mounties. we got a minute left in the ballgame. Back in alumni here, the Raiders will have the ball first and 10. And this is Tinker, and she's going to go down. Meg Tinker. And we got a flag now. Flag down against the Mounties. What's, what's that? Yeah, they're getting... Well, it's getting late in the game here. 47 seconds left in the contest. And let's see what the call is here. The penalty is going to go... And let's see. I don't know if it's against MSJ or let's see. Bruce Gee, the uh, principal here at uh, Rutland High. Going out talking to both clubs. and uh, Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, hey, this is the city rivalry, be it uh, girls football or uh, boys football. or It brings out the best in the... Uh, Everybody involved here. Nothing wrong with a little bit of competitiveness there. Okay, Tinker drops it back inside handoff. And they got the flag. Look, who's that? Hillary Fox? Fox? Fox on the stop there. Let's see, who got the uh, number 11? That would have been uh, Kara McEwen on the carry. 32 seconds. A timeout. And with 32 seconds left in the ball game. The uh, Mounties called a timeout. We're going to keep it right here, Ernie. Uh, got some time left on that tape. What's that? I don't know. What they, <laughs> 32 seconds left. You figure they'd uh, keep the clock going here. But uh, the Mounties, was the Mounties called timeout? No, it's uh, 22 to 14 with 32 seconds left. Hey, you never know. I see a few rosary beads down there tonight on the sidelines, so you, you never can tell. This thing is not over until the fat lady sings, and then she hasn't showed up yet either, so. Oh, is that <laughs> Maybe some horseshoes, was it? <laughs> yep. All right, here we go. We're back. And Tinker drops it back. There's a handoff to McCune again. Got some speed here, still going, and they finally pulled the flag off just about the 25-yard uh, line, I believe. Well, we'll call it the 22. 21 seconds left in the ball game. You should have time for a couple more plays. Clock down about 19 seconds. And the clock running now. This is probably going to do it here. We got 13 seconds left in the ball game. <laughs> and let's see. This will be the last play of the game, and that'll do it. 
Well, that's the final here from alumni. It's the Rutland High Red Raiders Senior Girls 22 and the MSJ Mountie Senior Girls 14. Mark Carbonell along with Ernie Sewell. And uh, I've enjoyed it, Ernie. I'm sure you have. And hopefully we'll see you down the road. All right. That'll do it tonight on Channel 15.